Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Where we finished off last time, we had just saved a dragon and gotten ourselves another gem for our crown. Unfortunately the game crashed for me, but all we had done since we got back is handed in a side quest with some documentation. And then I came over to the Antiquarians because I want to give them the documents that I had, which I then did, that increase our favour with them. So that I then have access to all of their best gear. We do. So you'll see now we are living legend. And so we are allowed to buy a belt of giant strength fire sets strength score to 25. Unfortunately, we cannot currently afford it because we are incredibly poor, apparently. So next thing to do is going to be go and sell as much stuff as we can feasibly can so let's go down to the market I also need to buy a Malacan and Rosary before I forget we've been lacking those for ages so let's get one of those then here we have so many primed weapons and stuff we have a bunch of other documents I think we know both of these, so we can sell those. And then, rather than talking to him, let's go over to Gorim. And we will trade off all of the armor and weapons and everything else that we've gathered along the way. Um, I'll probably keep the primed stuff for at least a while until I figure out the other stuff that I really want to make. We do have a bunch of gems and diamonds and stuff that we could also trade off if we absolutely wanted to. Somebody should get this handy have a sack. It is worth a decent penny, but it'll be fine. Right, so trade those off. Nothing really here to give away, but this is where we're going to have a lot of extra trash. Let's keep... No, I think we have a plus one longsword, don't we? Yeah, this is our plus one longsword. Because we might give the other guy his weapon back that we are currently holding, which is this Arwen Merton sword. But we've got a lot of short swords and daggers and maces and clubs for days. But still, that's only 230 gold. And when we're on a quest for getting some 500 odd uh, 5000 gold or something is what we want it's not working out terribly quickly uh you had a ring that you can definitely sell hold on that can go that can go because it's hard to know what things we actually want to keep uh the sigil ring of abjuration we should definitely give to somebody what I might have to do, if possible, is come to, yeah, hand over that Malacan and Rosary. So that finally we can come to crafting and we can see what we can make out of all of this shiny stuff. So, Scimitar of Acuteness, Short Sword of Acuteness, Doomblade Greatsword. Lightbringer, Greatsword, Frostburn, Dagger, Battle Axe of Acuteness. So all of this stuff is stuff that we can make. And I'm assuming a lot of it is going to be stuff that's worth selling for quite a high value. Like two grand on that, 1400 on that. Like there's a lot of money here. So this is a plus one, 2d6, plus 1d8 radiant damage, Greatsword. I don't know if any of the other stuff that we have wants moon dust to be made, or stardust rather. Because if it doesn't, what I might do is just spend a bit of time crafting some of these random weapons that we have extra stuff for, just so that we can then take those valuable weapons that we've made and sell them back to the traders at a profit for us, so that I can then buy that belt of 25 strength that I would really, really like. So, if I did this, do we have anybody else that could be proficient? No, it's only Maestro. All right, so I'm going to start crafting this. And 
and I'm then just going to spend a bunch of time long resting at the tavern. We'll spend a few days worth of gold doing the long resting. Hopefully, Arwen doesn't want his sword back yet, because I kind of want to hold on to it for a second. But I'm going to build this other weapon for a minute. No, I'm not. What's occurring? Hello, Arwen. Arwen. I'll keep calling you kid, I think. Suit yourself, I suppose you... You bet. Apparently, an elf friend... Oh, duh, 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 duh. She said you... Duh, duh, duh. We just said we'd bring the... Yeah. Maybe you would like... No. You didn't... You're out of... All right. She gave... What? I... She went back... Yeah. All right. Well, there goes the fancy sword. This is why I kept our plus one long sword here. Because now we are currently unarmed. So it was nice while we had it. Don't even get any XP or stuff from returning that, which seems kind of rude. But now I'm going to do a bunch of long rests Hello, in a row. Adventurers. What can I offer you? After my first long rest here, I got a new objective. Talk to Dalon Lark. They want to see me. Well, we might do that later, but right now I'm really more focused on... How quickly we can craft this so it's gonna be a few nights sleep then we'll see where we're at all right doing that here in town is not working great because we don't wait like the 15 hours between encounters or between rests to do a load of the crafting so we're just gonna kind of have to let that passively happen in other resting situations i think let's check the board there's probably some cash here for us. I will take the potion. I will take the fungus and sell the rest of everything else. Nothing major, but you know. Is one of these still locked? No. That's fine. Um, random papers in there. We still need to go to the council. We do. All right, let's go do that then. Yes. Travel interrupted by the guy in the circle. Hello. Clear skies. Clear skies. Remember that monastery near Koparan? The Timaru in ruins? Of course. Yes. There was a cemetery there. Chaplain Ardenfire, priest of Arun, would like to meet you. I shall go to him right away. Clear sky. Yeah, it's probably the paladin side quest then. Quite possibly. But we're going up here. And we're going there really fast. I said really fast. Travel interrupted. We expected that when we got to the end of our travel. Report to the council. Blah, 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 blah. Talking, talking, talking. Honourable ma'am, the legacy lord. Honourable have this night in put that sir. Well, nuss have oh, for we give us it. No, I said it. Be quick there while they have the only tell me after. We'll continue this quest. Give us weapons. May we be so bold as to ask you for material support? Weapons, armor, or spells, for instance? Don't overestimate. That's right. We can't risk the Sorax overpowering them and taking the crown. Well, you're welcome to provide them with- We're just trying to ring- Yeah, we might have a few spells at- If that is all, may we conclude? I'd like to say a word. Of course. I think our brave deputies shouldn't be, you know, sleeping in a city inn. We have a very comfortable rest. They would be safer there. That would be my- <coughs> I mu oh. might- Of course not. Then- Thank- all right, we get a fancy bedroom. A word, please. What's up? Her Royal Highness asked me to reiterate. I'm not sure. A house for plenty potentiaries. Sound. You don't. Where is this? In the stick. You cool. All right, maybe we can rest there more sufficiently. Visit the residences. Where are the residences? God, everyone wants to chat, don't they? That's a bush of angry violets. Do I need angry violets for any of my regular crafting stuff? Oh god, map. Why am I stuck? Thank you. Angry Violets, go get them. Visit the residence. So that is down in that direction according to the compass. 
If I can craft in the residence, I'll be very happy. But everyone wants to talk to us about everything now that we're in town. What do you want? Ah, deputy. Clear skies. Well, a renowned mind of Care Kiflin has asked to see. I believe you know him? Indeed. Well, gladly. Mm. All right, that's probably her side quest then. But let's go and get these long rests in. I want more chance for crafting if I could. Your rooms are ready. Oh, fancy digs, huh? Chests full of stuff. I don't mind if I do. Oil of acuteness, magnificent armor, magnificent chainmail, wooden necklace, beautiful flute, magnificent dagger. Out of space, too overloaded to carry this item. Empty. Alright, we got four beds. Let's just take some ritual time here. That flute might be of particular interest to us. Ritual cast, identify, over here, rearrange. So this is probably just a plus two dagger. Arcana, Devo, Oculus. Yes. Fine by me. And then this beautiful flute is intriguing. Arcana, Devo, Oculus. Flute of respite. Spell focus instrument requires attunement, charges three, soothing notes, one charge. 2d4 plus ability, temporary hit points, 3d4 healing. Honestly, I think I'm more likely to use that than I am pipes of haunting. But we have to attune to it next break, that's fine. Couple of big armors as well. We will get those identified just so that we can then probably sell them later. Hopefully for a reasonable profit. Plus one chainmail. Don't know if our cleric might benefit from that, actually. We'll find out in a moment. Arcana, Devo, Oculus. And plus one studded leather armor. What are we currently wearing? Leather armor plus one. Plus one studded leather armor. So our AC is currently 18. If I swap to this goes to 19 so that's a direct upgrade immediately give that to our cleric and see what they're wearing a breastplate plus one for 19 ac this is chain mail which we are not proficient with and it's almost certainly not going to be better than this plus one chain mail versus plate 17 plus 1 with no dex bonus versus 18. Yeah, that's not going to be better for us. Anything else to identify that we don't have identified? This? Something for a monk, I think. But better to know what it is than not. Don't think it's a focus. Necklace of focus, but that's a different story, isn't it? Um, necklace of focus, magical attunement wood. The beads of the necklace are made of wood for a sylvan grove. They help the wearer connect themselves and heighten their awareness of attacks. But doesn't tell us what it does. I think it's a monk thing. I think I remember that from my time doing my monk's campaign. Either way, it's worth a lot of money. And we'll see if we're able to attune to it after our next long rest. Speaking of which, let's get sleepy. So we wait for 22 hours. That's what I wanted at the tavern, because that's 22 crafting checks that we make while sitting around waiting, trying to make that fancy sword. Then we rest for eight hours. 
We can attune to items. Uh, you can have this sigil ring. None of us can attune to that wooden necklace. So I think that is a bard thing. How are we doing on the crafting then? 23 of 36. So immediately let's rest again and we'll take 16 hours of resting. That's 16 checks. Don't know if we'll make another eight while we actually sleep, but very happy for the 16 checks. And our survey says 35 of 36. We could probably then just take a short rest. That will be one hour of crafting, I think. We failed the check. Of course we did. We could just succeed on the check. There you go. Lightbringer, greatsword. All right. So we can craft here over and over again later on if we so desire. For now, we need to go uh, visit the residents. We did that. Why are we not getting prompted with the next part of our quest? Uh, find the remaining gems, reach the volcano, reach the lava forest, a new volcano is available. Cool, right, back to... Go to the Snow Alliance Embassy again. Maybe they'll give us a good price for our magic stuff that we don't want. Clear skies, my friends. Hello. Trading. We do. So, uh, plus two dagger. 552. Uh, I didn't unattune from this flute. That was dumb of me. Uh, plus one leather armor can go. This thing can go. Not really getting the 2,000 it's worth to us, apparently, but, you know, I'll still take it. Yeah. Just a bunch of potions here. Javelins, plus one arrows. Plus one chainmail can go for 200. Shiny mirror can definitely sell as well. And then where's that weapon? Lightbringer greatsword. 403 out of a proposed 1,825. If I give it to the bard who has higher charisma... Does it sell for a higher price? Also, should I consider actually just keeping the weapon? Clear skies, my friends. We what was it, like 403 we said? Still 403. Okay, well, we are some ways off this belt of giant strength. We can get hill giant strength. But that's only 21. I really would rather the 25. So we're going to sell this sword. And I'm going to spend a few moments crafting some more stuff and just seeing what I can do with the limitations of what we have. So I'll be right back. All right. I crafted a bunch of stuff. I traded a bunch of stuff, but we are only sitting on just over 4k rather than like six and a half that we need. So we're still a ways off. I did equip our war plus one warhammer to Evelyn, just in case she needs something hitting harder than just the basic mace that she's had since the start of the game. Otherwise, I think we are ready just to get back out on the road to do some more adventuring. I've swapped over to this flute of respite. And so we can now use that to heal an ally for 3d4 and gain 2d4 plus charisma modifier temporary hit points, which will be a good one. But for now, let's just check our journal. So gem quest cradle of fire, gem quest mind of the master in the lava forest, path to glory, follow the gem's lead, talk to Roger ardent fire priest of a run near the pro... pro Promon Promontory in Care Keflin. Let's go and do that, because if we can squeeze out some side quests, then, you know, can't be bad. Is that in the Temple Quarter? Is that where we want to be going for that? 
Because it's not Kerlem, is it? Wait, what is this direction? Right, I'm just going to follow the dot on the map, honestly. Apparently, it's over here, and I've not been over here yet. That would make some amount of sense, wouldn't it? So, coming to the left. Something over and around here. That's a view. Priest of Aaron. What quest do we have here? Ah, Chaplain Dallon Lark. Many thanks. It's about this. We're all here. Scavengers said many tombs in the cemetery bore the name. And? Anton Darwin. He was a renowned heads of the. Then he was considered killed. Now we know. Oh. Worse. I pray for us. Chaplain Darwin. He might have cursed the souls of his brothers. Someone needs to go. Clem. Will that suffice? Not if M. Tan is indeed cursed. Then you'll need to reason with him. I imbued his symbol with Aaron's magic. And if he doesn't... Then, and only... We will... May Aaron's... First guy. All right, sounds like we might be able to do a speech check, perhaps, and if fails, turns into a fight. But that's going to be outside of the city walls. Treasure map. Find the Silent Whisper base. No idea what that's about. M investigate thefts. Find Razan and destroy him. Defiler who nests nearby her tower. Return to the ruins outside the Fortress of the Shield. Find the tomb where Razan placed the remains of his family to lure him and put an end to his existence. And I should pay more attention to this stuff, shouldn't I? Talk to Galafin. Wants to speak with you. Meet him at the house near the tavern. All right, we can do that while we're here in the village. That's this house here. I'm going to need to stock up some food if we're going to be going around and about. Hello? Clear skies. We'd like to meet Master Pureheart. You don't have an appointment. Hmm. Who shall I announce? A companion of the Third Enlightenment. Clear skies, my student. Mayor Brightspark asked. Ah, yes, this. What matter? The matter of evil. A weighty matter. Indeed. Yes, but for that, I need your help. I am cleared to hear everything. Well, it all began at Kerlem. Glad we just trust this guy. You've given me lots to. Clear skies. Clear skies. All right. Wait for them to call us. Sure. Dramatic stuff. New stop at the major gate. Where is the major gate? It's like here. Yeah, major gate officer. All right, so where are we going? What are we doing? Great question. Travel to the Tamarian ruins. You could probably do that without too much issue, right? Uh, probably via the overworld. If we have to, we can always prepare, create food and water with our cleric. So we don't have to worry about getting supplies anymore. Oh god, we got a lot of options now. Tamarian ruins. Not so far. Three days. We find five food. We find angry violet. Can we change our prepared spells after these long rests? No. Alright, next time then. We find five more food. We look after our armor. All normal stuff. I'm just waiting for the really, really terrible random encounter we are destined to have at some point. But at level 7, you'd imagine most things we can generally handle. Obviously, big dragon, probably a problem. But, you know, the small stuff will be fine. 
cleansing. Go to the cemetery near the mausoleum. Use the holy symbol that Rogar gave you to cleanse the tombstones. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty gang of people, isn't it? Alright then, fast travel down to here. Get cautious. Now, these ones... Not currently our foes. Did we forget to close the door on our last visit? Never opened it. Well, someone's dropped by. Let's cleanse those tombs with holy water. Not many remains left for the prayer. You had to say it. Get ready, people. We're not going to try talking to them first? Zombies don't talk. Ghosts, though. Please, good initiative on a fireball caster. I should have put, um, you know, the one mage armor up first. Let's just take out these four, five. There's one there. Cleanse with holy fire. Right, for us. Spectral Avenger, Spectral Avenger, Badlands Wrath. Okay, Wraith, Wrath. Cast spell Mage Armor for us. Good. Uh, what are we going to get up to? Greater invisibility on Orkscar. Thereafter, all of his attacks will be at advantage. Because there will be an unseen attacker attacking a foe. Solid start. Run while you can. One down, two to go. Sunlight sensitivity doing a lot of good work on disadvantage as well. Let's go with a second level inflict wounds here. Reach up above our head. They are stunned, but they are immune to necrotic damage. Well, that's a shame. Good to know, though. Every time we use this stunning thing, it takes its sweet time, doesn't it? Uh, Maestro. Ah, oh, this diagonal line is not great, is it? All right, then. Give me a third level magic missile and just fill this guy with them. Arcana, Evo, Malmis. Good rolls. Bella. Go up with this. And then us, invisible, at advantage. That one's dead. Love the big smites. Thirty-two damage there. They get one last attack in, but they're stunned, so they don't. We can just excuse me. 
magic missile the end of them because like we could have done psychic damage perhaps all right a thousand xp for us a bunch of magnesium is always welcome and then we need to cleanse these graves Anything weird or wonderful going to happen? Who are you to disturb our eternal rest? A follower of the gods, hoping to save your soul. There are no gods in this place, fool. Do you truly believe that? Of course. Otherwise, they would have answered us in our hour of need. Did they not? I prayed and never got answered. Yes, it did. Liar! Did you not have water? Barely. Were monsters not kept? We heard them. Weren't you spared? The what? And yet you but miss it. Behold. That's not gone well. It won't. W Fight. Oh, goody. Spectral Avenger and three extra zombies. <laughs> Well, we're still invisible, so that's nice. Block that. Thanks so much. Maestro. Not good spots for fireballs, is it? Um, in that case... Let's just start with the small guys. Arcana, Evo, Malmus. Again, harder. Fifteen damage is solid. Some psychic damage. Love to see it. Disadvantage there. Uh, let's see how this goes. Pretty reasonably. RAC is just top notch now. We'd love to see it. Uh, we are invisible, so we're obviously attacking here with advantage. You can't win. Back to the Spectral Avenger. Do we not have... I guess, Oh, we used our reaction for something else. So we can't cast shield if we've already used our reaction. They resist lightning damage. Because of course they do. Psychic damage though. Is all good. Block that again. Good work. Let's just hit him again. You like it? I do. Big fan. Where did this other zombie come from? Has that been there the whole time? I'm just missing it. God, I can't wait to have 25 strength. You'll be an absolutely unstoppable paladin. Right, we're going to try and kill stuff with psychic damage, as is my current prerogative. Great work. And here... All sorted, mate. Another 600 XP. Gather everyone up. 
anything interesting on the corpses. A magnificent shield. That is incredibly interesting. It says it's a plus two shield. Are we not close enough? Get out from between the graves. But let's just do this anyway. Oh, it's a plus one shield. Okay. So it's two base AC plus an additional one on top. Who's got the lowest AC at the moment? 19, 20, 22, 19. All right. Let's give it to Maestro. Since Maestro has the lowest HP. So his AC is now 20. Mage armor plus three decks plus three on a shield plus one plus one blessed by the Herald of Battle. Then we'll sneak in a short rest to get those um, bardic inspirations and the other bits and pieces back before getting back on the road. Really, I should grab a long rest before getting back on the road just in case the next encounter is terrible. But I think we'll be okay. Are we going to go back to Roger and hand in the quest, or are we going to do another quest while we're out here? I guess I'm going to go hand in the quest. Four days, we have enough food. When we get back, we'll sleep in the tavern and get create food as a spell. Let's just get through this first long rest, please. We did, good. We've got all our spell slots back. An encounter. The monsters are frightened by the party and scurry away. That's because we're higher level now. We get to, like, skip over the really low-level foes that don't actually present any kind of threat to us. I wonder if these are related to our survival checks or something. That would be really interesting. The finding of food and ingredients. All right, are we gonna get back in time today? Yes, we are. All right, let's get back up to Roger. Zoom through the town. Travel interrupted by Roger. Clear sky? Clear sky? Yes. We couldn't... Tragedy. We get... 500 XP. We lose our holy symbol. Achievement unlocked. My faith is my shield. I presume that is a side quest we've never done before. But happy enough with that. I want to take a short rest, a long rest, so that we can prepare, create food and water so that we never have to buy rations again. And then once that's done, we'll go figure out what bit of questing we're going to do next. Your rooms are ready. Thank you for my room. I think this box actually just has food in it for us as we need it, which is interesting. Always ensuring a long rest is available to us. But it's the priests or the clerics spells that we want to change. Evelyn, repair spells. So something that we're not using. Uh, let's lose... Honestly, I'm less likely to focus on Bless if I have Spirit Guardians available to me. And over here is Create Food. So as long as we have the spell slot to spare on our journeys, we will always be able to rest now without having to worry about carrying extra rations with us. Which is nice. We still have just over four grand in cash. Alright, how are we doing for XP? 
We are halfway to level eight already. Get through those quick, don't we? Journal, right. Treasure map, I know nothing about. Most of the thefts. Find the defiler who rests near a tower. Galen wants you to speak with you. Meet him at his house near the tavern. Well, we can go back to his house now that he's had some time to ruminate on our previous conversation. All right, back for another chat. Clear skies, my Yes, indeed. Details about your dealing. Certainly. Yes, you gave me much to pence this. There is. Did you witness? Alas, quite off. They enjoy. But why? We think it. He expects so he can. Blah 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 blah. From what we and to gain, mm. does it? Oh yes, thank you. Until next. Just a chat. Wait for them to call us again. God, this guy really isn't good at finishing a conversation, is he? All right, well. We could go and do this Shadow of the Defiler thing. We are waiting to be called again for that. Thefts at the local priest quarter. We could probably do this. All right. Next time, we'll start with that. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing. Or thank you ever so much for subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.